रूपानुगाचार्य गुरु वर्ग की जय वज मंडल छत्र मंडल गौड़ मंडल की जय गंगा जुमुना तुलसी भक्त वृंदा देवी की जय सर्वाभिष्ट प्रदता शशि क्रीडा गोवर्धन की जय भक्त अभिनाशक सिंह देव की जय भक्तराय प्रहलाद महाराज की जय ग्रंथराय सं भागवतम की जय ग्रंथ श्रोता भक्त बिंद की जय समेत गौर भक्त बिंद की जय गौर प्रेमानंदे ध्यानतिरांदश ध्यानजन शलाकय चक्षुन्मील जीन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वाकतुर्व कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय से कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतमे गौरक्षे गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिका तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ता भक्तियापराधन आफ्टर दामोदर लीला विच आई टोल्ड यू आई एम टेलिंग इट सिंस थ्री डेज ऑल दी ब्रजभाषीज बिकम सो वाइल दैट इन गोकुल सो मेनी डिस्टर्बेंस आर कमिंग सो मेनी डेमेंस कमिंग attacking krishna and they want to kill krishna so it is better to leave gokul and to go in a very pleasant forest where where plenty of grasses for the house plenty of water river very good forest for playing krishna and baldev we can have also we should see that where there is no any disturbance or the path of demons for path means बट फर्स्ट शुड बी सो प्लीज दैट शुड बी कक्कू बर्ड पी कॉक्स डी एस and plenty of grasses for cows upanand told that maharashandil rishi is here he knows everything loop and corner of all the vrindavan and i also have some experience so we can go to vrindavan 
in Vrindavan oh Govardhan Hill is so pleasant so pleasant oh very water flow are there the river is there so beautiful Manshi Ganga is there and all the things for playing Krishna is there plenty of plenty of grass Ghars is there. So and also in Vrindavan there are so many banyan trees, people trees, so many forest of Kadamba, Tamal, so much deers there. Water of Jamna is so lovely. So we should go there. At last they decided to go there. Anand Baba Ghoshana ki announced, announced on drum by his then servant that tomorrow in very morning about four, five or all cows should be directed towards Vrindavan, crossing Jamuna river nearby. All, all wealth should be taken on bullock cords. The old person, father and mothers and others, they should be, they should go on cords. Also the very little boys, they should go on car. And rest, they will follow cows. They should pick march from here. So Krishna and Valdev were sitting on a car, very big car, with Krishna and Valdev with mother Rohini and Yasoda and other children were with their mothers, old persons were in the bullock. First of all, all the cow herd, young persons, they were going with, they marched with cows. Cows were like endless ocean. And there were some streams of black cows and white, white cows. So beautiful the scenery. And miles over miles, all were marching in a very pleasant way. They made a pool of, um, they made a boat, so many boats, with Benign trees, benign trees, keeping so many branches of trees on them, very tightly binded. And thousand and thousand, lakhs and lakh gop and gopis, they cross through the, these boats and bulla cord. They marched in the water. All the cows crossed by, by swimming. Swimming. Little it is cops with their mother. All very pleasant. Quickly jumping and crossing. It was very pleasant. Scenery. Scenery. They took their Morning breakfast on the bank of Jamna River and Drake took some rest and then quickly marched towards Chatti Karagram. Now Chatti Karagram is situated on the north side of Hinda, north or west. Oh, okay. So east, not west. Uh, 
Wes tot een einde. Wes zei dat. Oh, thousand and lakhs of bullock carts were kept like half moon way. And after that, thrones were given that no one can pause in that period and made their huts there under their bullock carts. Their houses were in the bullock and heading under bullock carts. And they made, there was made a goshala out of the village. When Krishna was coming from Jamna bank on the bullock cart, Krishna was asking mother, oh mother, oh he is standing and always trembling. You know? Who? Who does it? People dream. Always trembling. His lips always dancing. Who is that person? Having so much beard, so long, long beard, black beards. Who? Oh. Mother told me he is not a person, he is a tree. His name is? Benyan. Benyan. Oh, I see. Oh. Two hot, with two horns, jumping very, and very much, and very beautiful, like golden ball. Who is that? So Krishna is learning the names and he is the Sudhamaya was right? teaching. Yeah. Because boys have some tendency to know what is this, what is this, what is this, how happened, how happened. So the Sudhamaya is people teaching and he is learning. Thus they can to do this. Krishna was, Krishna with Aldeya Prabhupada, very happy to be in this new village. Nearby Jamuna River, nearby Rubatman Hill, so many good ponds. There was a very big and very pleasant bun, Madhu bun, where Madhu honey was there so much. So many things were there. Krishna began to play there. Krishna began, he left Gokul at the age of three and a half. From Gokul. Now he became at the age of about five or four. And he was taking so much butter, he, Ravadi, so in for one day, in his voyage, oh, he was so smart and so strong, Krishna and Bhakti. They used to wrestle. They used to do exercise. exercises, jumping here, playing with monkeys. If a monkey is on the tree and his tail is Hanging. Oh, Krishna was there easily used to jump and okay. and then monkeys jump. jumping from one point to the other and they also jump from them. Sometimes they play a play of uh, frog. Leap frog. Leap frog. Leap frog. Leap frog. Leaping. Like frogs. Hmm. Like, like this. Sometimes they used to dance like peacocks. Sometimes they used to do so many plays. Now Krishna told his father and mother. Mother, I am now so strong. And 
I want to go to Grace House. Then this Yasoda became so funny. No, no, why was so orphan? Yeah, it was small. A small one. You can. Another, I should go. Because this is our one's come say. Tradition. Our tradition. We should go. And he was so jiddy. Jiddy. Obstinate. Obstinate. What is the meaning of obstinate? Oh, I must go, my mother. I must go. Then anyhow, priest was called. And a precious day was seen. And that was Gopashtim. Nand Baba, Gopananda and all the superior books, they decided that Krishna is so small, so this with children nearby places, they should go to graze small cups, not with cups. Krishna was happy. And thus, the Sodha decorated him in a spacious place and brought some shoes and umbrella for Krishna. So, God was worship, Nishinga Deva was worship, Sadhakram was worship in an auspicious way. But Yasodha Mama was decorating Krishna so much, making decorating Krishna and he never wanted that he should go so he was decorating, decorating and the auspicious time was going passing so priest wanted that uh, Krishna should go and we should have so many cows in Indonesia <coughs> so they make him quickly, quickly but Yasoda was, Yasoda wanted to be nice. uh, shoes for Krishna and Baudev and Nambaritas. Krishna told Mother, cows are of a superior and worship of it. You should try to give one one umbrella and one one, <laughs> four four shoes for our cows. <laughs> and then we will uh, supply and they will make them wear shoes. Make them wear shoes. Shoes. And umbrella. Umbrella. And then we will take it. Otherwise we will not take it. Why? Because Krishna wanted to touch all the earth with his feet. So that it should be so much but auspicious. Hmm? Earth wanted to take Krishna feet on her breast. Everywhere the breast of earth is everywhere. Like mountains. So she always wanted that Krishna should keep feet on them. That is how Krishna never to umbrella or any shoe. Then, after getting donation, call so many Krishna began to go towards forest with so many cops. Oh, beautiful cops, some small, some bigger, some bigger, but all within one year. Someone but only one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, like this. She cops and boy cops both were there. But Yasoda wanted to always keep embrace Krishna. So she was now leaving. Though Krishna and Balde with his friends, Dam Sidam, Subhadmat Mangal and all, he came out of the village. 
He was somewhat very strong, strong and healthy. Strong. And some bad fragrance was coming because they used to take opium, you know, flesh, meat, eggs, and bad things. Opium, you know. And all the bad things, especially made with meat and other things. Also wine. So bad smell was coming from his nose and mouth. And it was very severe. <coughs> so all the cops, when they, he used to come to them and wanted to mix with them, all the general cops, Taking their tails hard as around. They used to jump, jump and to go towards Krishna and Baldev, fear. So Krishna was looking towards Baldev, what is happening? Today I am seeing that all the cops are fearing and this beautiful but this very strong, this new cops I am seeing. But that told by his eyes, not by words. Yes, there is something. We should be careful. And then. He wanted to come gradually near by Krishna and to kill Krishna and then to Baldev. But at once, Krishna caught was his left, his hind legs. And did like this. And he fell down on him, free. When Krishna followed and he was running to escape, this first was called Khadivan, Khadiravan. Khadiravan, you know. We have done there. Khadiraman. Khadiraman is to fall. And thus he was killed. Also, you know that after some days there was a very big Bakasu. What means? This 
two demons were the embodiment of Kapatata. Duplicity. Duplicity and hypocrisy. 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 You know about hypocrisy? Very well. Nowadays, there are so many Bakasu at the time of Krishna. Only one Bakasu was there. But nowadays, we cannot count so many Bakasu. What is Bakasu? Embodiment of yeah, hypocrisy, duplicity, and all. Those who have taken initiation and those who are chanting her name, putting Tilak and Kanti Mala and all. But they are very tricky. They have to. They do have to play hypocrisy and duplicity. Outer like friend and inner like Sattu and Outside like very sweet words and inner word having a knife So Krishna can recognize this and he can destroy them. And we see that they are following them very quickly, quickly, quickly. chanting Hari name and hearing Katha. And he is associated. He should be very far away from all these things. But in chanting, remembering and doing Vaishnava, being Vaishnava, they are very much attached to wealth, reputation and followers also and wives also, children also, so much attachment. They are all duplicity. Those who play duplicity, always criticizing Vaishnavas, offending Vaishnavas, for very, any, very little. Eh? Thirty reasons. Thirty reasons. Thirty reasons. They are more offenders. They are actually not Vaishnavas. But to be attached, also this is not good. We should do Krishna Samsha. Krishna Samsha, you know? Making Krishna center and then thinking that my wife is beloved of Krishna. My husband is beloved of Krishna. My children are servant of Krishna. Thus, this is Krishna Samsha. We should support and nourish this. And make all the servant of Krishna. And thus we should associate all with Vaishnavas. And whatever we do, do for Krishna. And remnant should be given to all. This is Krishna Shamsa. It can be done. It is allowed. Like all the gopis were family. Also, so many devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu associates were like householders. Also, Pandvas were householders. So if we are a householder, then not so much attached, but for Krishna we can do all these things. Because we cannot be so much renounced order person, so we can gradually do like this. And when we will come at the age of 50, 60, gradually we should give up all these things. Giving all this to our sons and sons' wife, 
and sometimes we ban prasti and after that in ban prasti you can live with your wife no home but after some time you should give your wife also to your sons and be pakka renounced and do that like bhakti gunam thak so this family men our family life is not bad we can learn so many things in family life this is also a parameter reflection of that word like a ladder we can go gradually up by this but where the family life is not like a ladder not like a school only for uh, training then it is a fake that this would be a training school like this how to love krishna oh i should love like my son i should love krishna like my husband born than husband like beloved like friend so this is like a training school and those who have tested all these things in previous past lives they are say impatient of all that so they will not do uh, household work and those they pretend to be brahmachari but actually not brahmachari Oh, after some time they will fade out. Even they are taking sannyas, renounce all that, and preaching in whole world. But quickly from inside they are so much attracted to ladies and girls and girls. And well, so they were never qualified for this renounce all that. But they, they were just the they pretended that. for well can reputation they did but good should not be some gaff to them so there are so many things these are all those who are not following all these things they are bakasu to be so try to be careful from bakasu you cannot kill bakasu yourself who will kill okash but they can be so monday they were crazy grazing cows and they went to maduna tal gal no tal gal all the birds were very thirsty and very hungry but they can go in the bag so and they were and I don't know the story so well. Oh, huh? I don't know the story so well. I have told so many times and if you not remember I will remember you by twisting your ears. Yes. Very quickly you will remember. Wait, wait. Chat show. So shortly after, Krishna had killed Bhagasura. He and the Kavya boys, um, they went again. They were taking care of. Um, they were taking care of the cows. They were still under the age of five years, and. Putana and Bakasura. Um, they had a younger brother. Yeah, they had a younger brother. Yes, Putana had one sister and two brothers. Bakasura and Agasu. One of them, Bakasura, was killed. Now Agasu, and he became so 
So Amosu was um, very angry that his older brother and sister had been killed. And again being instigated by Kamsa. And the promise comes. I said, I will take revenge and I will surely come to him. So then he again is um, under the influence of Yogamaya. He was able to enter into Vrindavan. And he came in the form of a serpent. But not just a normal serpent. He also was a great mystic yogi. Python? Python. 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 A python, a particular type of snake, a python. And he expanded his body <coughs> eight miles long. It's explained. And he went on the, road, on the path, and then with this expanded body, he opened his mouth with his lower jaw on the ground. And just as Bakasura had previously opened his mouth, and the beat was right to the sky. So similarly, Agasura opened his mouth in such a way that his upper jaw was um, up in the clouds, practically was touching the sky. So the cowherd boys, they were playing. And then from, as he opened his uh, mouth, then from within, a very foul smell was um, emanating from within his intestines, um, a very fishy smell. All the cowherd boys began to tell what it is. So then the cowherd boys, they seen this uh, big structure. Then looking at each other, they're saying, oh, what is this? And they thought, um, this is at, like a mountain. at first they thought, oh, this looks like a very, very big mountain, which is going right up to the sky. Then on close examination, then they saw that, no, this is not a mountain, but this is a huge snake. And cave. 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 they saw that this is a cave. Cave of that mountain. Mouth was like a cave. The entrance to the cave. Excuse me? The mountain comes <laughs> into the cave. I said, he's so eager. No, <laughs> 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 Another mind. Another person. So that, that they thought it was. Um, a cave, but then upon closer, um, the entrance looking like a cave, then close examination, then they saw that um, actually this was a big snake. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was, you see, there was a very red <laughs> So, <laughs> So then they saw that um, the entrance well, that there's this. go, but then. A serpent or no. mountain cave, no heart. Oh, Krishna is there, he is coming behind. Oh, he must save us. That's what he said. You, you are very eager. I can go a bit more. No, no. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, no, 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 no. So, Okay, that's okay. So then um, they, they, quick, they proceeded very confidently um, walking into the mouth of Agasura because they, were, they had the confidence that Krishna was with them and that whatever would happen that Krishna would protect them. And what Krishna was doing? Krishna was scratching his head. Huh? He was wondering, what is going on here? And he was in the last row. Yes, he was behind, but he did not go in with them. He stayed outside and he was looking at this. Um, Why are they going? I cannot accept them. And they are injured. And he was. What is it? What is it? Then, then, then. So, Agasura, even though all the cowherd boys had walked in, actually it's explained that Krishna, he was um, looking in the basement also that how Maya, the material energy, Maha Maya, could manifest such a, a wonderful thing as this big snake. So the cowherd boys, they walked in, and, but Agasura was not satisfied because actually he wanted Krishna. So then finally, Krishna also, then he followed the cowherd boys, and then he walked into the mouth of the, the big serpent. 
Then the serpent, being satisfied that Krishna was within, then he closed his jaws. And within, within the um, mouth of the um, serpent, then the cowherd boys, actually they fainted. All the cops also went. All the, all the young cows, which um, the cowherd boys had been taken, taken care of, they also went into the mouth of Adasura. And they all fainted. And then... Um, in the stomach. Hmm? They reached the stomach also. Yeah? Wait, wait, tell again. <laughs> so then, um, Adosura, having Krishna and the cowherd boys, cows within his mouth, um, then he wanted to devour all of them. But then Krishna, he became um, very, very hot. Where? Within his jaw. No. No. Within his throat, that's what I meant, within the throat. <laughs> 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 then he could not breathe out. And for leg fires. So, so Adasur could not breathe, he was choking. <laughs> and then what he was doing? Expound, he was doing chak 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 chak. No, no, no. So, so then Adasur was, was fighting, becoming restless, moving his head left and right, trying to get rid of dust. He wanted to vomit, vomit out, just as Bakasura previously had vomited, but this time Krishna would not allow. And Krishna just got hotter and hotter and hotter, and the heat increased so much within the head of Adasura. His head was about to burst, and then his eyes, like big rasgulas, they were <laughs> And then Adasura, the big serpent, just started to roll, um, squiggling all over the place. And then <laughs> the heat. And then finally, um, Krishna, the, um, then, then the light air of Adasura, um, just could not take the intense pain and heat and just bust it out through a um, hole in this, in, in this um, skull. So then um, his mouth opened because. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, his atma, I said, his, like his atma came out and was hovering, hovering in the sky. Meanwhile, all the demigods, they were up, they were looking at the whole scene, wondering what was going on. Because when Krishna had gone in, they had thought, oh, at last, Krishna will be killed. Oh, calamity, what tragedy. So they were watching this whole scene. And then they saw this atma just floating up in the air and they wondered, What's going to happen next? And Krishna when he came out. Then Krishna, the, Krishna, Krishna he came yeah. out. No, he opened his mouth. Oh, he, Krishna opened the mouth of Adasura. And all cops. He revived yeah. the cowherd boys and the cows. And then they walked out. Um, when came, Krishna came. And then when Krishna came, at once that the Atma that was hovering in the sky then went and merged into the body of Krishna. No, he his, his feet. His, his feet. It's all not, this is not in Krishna book all this. <laughs> <laughs> I can only go by what I've read. <laughs> so, um, so then it's explained that how fortunate this Adasura was, that though a demon, um, but still um, the, he achieved Baba. The Atma merged into his into the, his foot. So anyway, I won't say that. <laughs> so then, um, what happened next? The I tell after this something. You know some stutis of Brahman. Hmm. My apologies. I'm to call back to you, Mister. So try to remember something more. So, when Krishna, he came out from the mouth of Agasur, and Agasur had been uh, relieved of 
all of his, someone will say, Krishna has killed him. No, Krishna has destroyed all his false ego, or his sinful body, and liberated that Atma. So seeing this, all the demigods, they became overjoyed. They began to beat drums and dance and chant and shower flowers on Krishna. So at that time, Brahmaji, the uh, creator of this universe, the highest of all the demigods, he was moving in the sky there on his swan carrier. And he was thinking, oh, what, what's going on? What is all this celebration about? And he came and he saw the Atma of Agasur enter into the lotus feet of Krishna. At that time, he was very astonished. What became? He was very astonished. What became? Of Agasur Atma, what became? Yes, sir. Tell all these things. Of the years ago, ten years ago, I <laughs> But he knows all the prayers. He was waiting for that. But this is called essence and siddhan. Or only it can be learned in association of high class of persons and real life so. Otherwise, no. We can. Remember the slopes and so many things. But those some things are to be associate, to associate and to hear more. So Solo Padasura get liberation. What kind of sajidya or not sajidya? So what? There is five kinds of mukti. Sarukko, Salutko, Sasti, Samitko and Sajidya. Among these five. Devotee don't like Sahitya liberation. What is the Sahitya? Sahitya means imagine Brahma. It's called Sahitya. What it, happens there? They are just like giving person theater. Uh, the patient has no sense, he don't know what is going on. Similarly, in Sahitya Mukti, soul could not understand that he is there or not, what is going on is just like it. It's like stone. There is no realization of his soul. And there is no action in his soul. So he gave Sarupa Mukti. Sing this. What is Sarupa Mukti? Sarupa means same form like Bhagavan, but not same like from Bhagavan. Associates of Bhagavan, same form of like his associate. A shape like uh, associate. Associate nine. Yeah. Like nine. Four hundred. Four hundred. But not uh, okay. like Krishna. Some some Latin will be there. Yes. And what is Samipya? Samipya means uh, near anyone who is uh, liberated. And he receives uh, Samipa Samipa. He goes very nearer to Krishna in a very nearer lok or in a lok like Bhaitan. And there is also a Sasti. Sasti means like same opulence. Like opulence like Krishna but not same. Like same but not same. Not so much. Very little. Why Vaishnav don't take these four? Shaiji uh, Mukti, they never take. The enemies of Krishna are Ramachandra, killed by them. Killed by Bhagavan, they get that kind of liberation. And that kind of liberation. What? Shaiji so, And also the uh, devotees like, in first case of Sukadeva Goswami, so there was also had some attraction for this is also so high cost. But Vaishnav don't take it. Also they don't want Samitya. Sarupya. 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 So Krishna anyhow worship will get him. Sarupya Mukti. Like Narayan any shape. Nearer to any law. But Vaishnav don't. Seeing this. 
Oh, how rare is this Murti? Even so, Brahmavadi, they don't have this. He has easily held by Krishna and he has received. So he was thinking about this. Then he knew that for oh, his supreme personality of Godhead, they is not gaming God or anything. I want to see him some more past times. Then the Brahma don't somebody, they say that Brahma want to test, but no. Brahma being our Purvacharya, he could not keep this conception in his mind that I shall test him. No. He want to see more pastimes by his own effort. Why? Because Jogmaya attracts Brahma. Because in Braj, Krishna used to go for during milking time, then all cows they are think they used to think, oh, if Krishna will be our cow, then I shall give our milk. milk. We will give milk. We will give milk. And he will be my shah. And he will be our cow. And all Sokis of Mother Yasoda, they are thinking, oh, if Krishna will be our son, it will be very good fortune for us. Because on the way back from cow grazing, all Yasoda Sokis, they used to take Krishna in their lap, one after another. After that, Mother Yasoda taking Krishna away to his own residence. So they are thinking, oh, we can, he used to take Krishna only for a moment. But Mother Yasoda is so fortunate, he used to sleep with Krishna, he knows Krishna always. So if Krishna will be our son, then we can nourish Krishna like Yasoda. Then it will be our very good fortune. Now all Radhi Gopis, they will see in age. They are thinking, oh Krishna will be our husband. Then Krishna is so, so beautiful, sweet, beautiful, so sweet, so attractive, so strong. So strong. If so, Krishna, we want that Krishna should be our husband. So Krishna knew all. Teenage age. 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 Teenage very beautiful husbands. Though they are not uh, mature, even they. So that was. So Krishna can accomplish so many things with so, so many accomplish so many tasks with his own action. So Krishna ordered Jogmaya. Then Jogmaya? No, not ordered, but he wished. He wished and Jogmaya at once came and wanted to wants fulfill Krishna's desires. So Brahma came and he. So Joe Maya inspired in Brahma. Then Joe Maya inspired in Brahma. Then Brahma stole his old cups. At first, Krishna was taking their bhaj, their meal under one tree, and cups are grazing nearby. Then Brahma. Stolen away the old calves and hide it near Tapovan in the bank of Jamuna. Also, as they are thinking, where is our calves? They could not find. Then Krishna told, wait a little bit, I shall find out all of them. If not, I shall play and flute, then all calves will come. So, as they know, no. Then you can see it, we are going. So, they also went away and sleeping Krishna, they went for searching calves. The Brahma. No, no, no. They were sitting there. Krishna told them you cannot search. Uh, quickly I will search. So Krishna told them that you should take here, take meals, and I'm just coming very soon. Krishna asked them to sit here. When? And when Krishna went for searching, then Brahma came and quickly take quickly take all coward boys and hide them in the same place. Then Krishna came. And thinking, what, what happened? No calves, no coward boys. When I shall go back, how I shall reply? At that day, it was 
birth scar of birth consideration of Baladev Prabhu, he was not present at that day. He was thinking, all mothers will ask me, Oh Kana, you came alone, where is my son? How I shall reply them? Due to Naralila, he became so surprised and his worry. His face became dry. His hand, there is some food stuff or rice and some people. He forget to eat it. He is searching here and there. Then, by the help of Jogamaya, he knew this fact that Brahma is throwing away everything from here. So, Krishna, the Brahma, keeping them in cave, then in a bank of Jamuna, went to Brahmalo. When he went, oh, I went back to Brahmalo, Krishna became Brahma by his own, own, own form and ordered his servant that somebody who wants to cheat me, he is coming. Cheat you all. He wants to cheat you all. He is coming like my own form for headache. Be careful. Don't be cheated by that. Don't let him come here. Imposter. Imposter. Don't let him come here. When Brahma is to, when Brahma is entering, because he is entering his own residence, no need to ask anyone. He is watching, watcher, watchman told, don't enter. Who are said, you? Who are you? Brahma told, are you mad? No, no, we are not mad, you are mad. Mm. If you are mad, we shall break your leg. <laughs> Brahma said, what is going to be happen? Any other day, they never insult me. They are insulting me or they want to beat me. And Brahma became surprised, he came back and meditated. Oh, he saw his Krishna himself. Then he became sorry and come back again to Braj. He returned to Braj. Again. He returned to Braj. And he saw Krishna is grazing cows, grazing cows with his cowherd's voice. With all cowherds. We are all coward boys. Here and there playing. Here and there playing. There is nothing that have nothing happened. Then he rubbed his eyes and saw all calves, all cover was become poor headed, handed. Why? Because personal deity of Brahma is Garbhadav Sai Vishnu, poor handed. So Krishna want to show Brahma that what to say about me? The Krishna is supreme person of the Godhead. But his calves, his cowherd boys, speak, their clothes. Not less than Garuda Sai Vishnu, they are all are transcendental. Then Brahma is doing pranam again and again. And now he is praying to Krishna. Now again, when again, he saw that Krishna, Krishna is alone, alone and searching his calves and cowboy, cowboy boys. And very sad. Then he began to pray. And oh, you are supreme personality of God. I could not understand him. And then he began to? Began to pray. What? No, no midhati yagra bhavuse taridam paraya gunya vatamsa paripiccha lasana mukhaya vanna sraje kavala vetra visana venu laksma sriye mirupade pasupanga jaya. Our Purvachaja Brahma is telling pasupanga jaya. Brahma is telling that he is son of Nanda Baba. How we can say that he is son of Nandava with the, by this law? Pasupanga jaya. Pasupa. Pasupa means who take care of cows. He is Pasupa. And who took birth from him, who take birth from him he is Pasupanga jaya. That means Pasupa is Nanda Baba. Who came from Nanda Baba is Krishna. No middhati of Brahma who say. Brahma is telling him, go down in his lotus feet. Who is this? No matter the Abra Babu say, his body like new cloud, Tolidambaraya, just like in cloud there is lightning, his Pitamba just like lightning in his, on his body, that is in cloud, in cloud lightning, Krishna's body like new cloud and his Pitamba like lightning. Pitamba means? Pitamba means from cloud. Like a 
But love which is made feeble by this Aishwarya Gyan is not satisfying to me. Can we explain via Nirvishesh Gyan? Nirvishesh Gyan, yes. And uh, also the Brahma Jiva Aikya Gyan, the knowledge of Nirvishesh Gyan, of Brahma, thinking that the Absolute Truth is formless, impersonal, with no qualities, with no pastimes, no abode, no associates, no activities. This here, it, it should be rejected. Here, not this one. They are Aparadhi offensive in Krishna, not speak. So here, it is not told. Only Gyan Misha Bhakti here. Thinking that Krishna is Supreme Personality of God. He is Narayan, like this. This is also to be stopped. So, if then one may say, if we give up this knowledge of the opponents of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then how will we understand anything? So Brahmaji is giving the actual suggestion. What is that? Jivanti san mukaritam bhaviriyavartam That one should hear the sweet pastimes of Krishna. From oh, where? Here. San mukaritam. Oh, Sarabhuja. Sure. You should be one bush. <laughs> one point. Otherwise, if you are short, short here, there, who are you can So we we will cut your fight. Oh, oh, and you give only two. So he said, what what will we do? How will we understand anything? Jivanti sanmu karitam bhavadi avartam. One should hear the descriptions of Krishna's sweet pastimes. Where? San Mukharitam, that means not from any tape, not from any book, not from any video or on any folio or internet or database. No. Jivanti San Mukharitam, you have to hear these things from the mouth, from the lips of Sat, the pure devotee. Or anything. Anything. So then he said, Stane sita asuti de tan tanovan manobir ye paya so dita didopia sita stilokyam. Stane sita. This has different meanings. One meaning is stay where you are. There is no need to make any external arrangements or change anything. If you are brahmachari, then remain brahmachari. If you are in uh, Rihasta Ashram, then stay in Rihasta Ashram. If you are Vanaprastha Sanyas, then stay in that Ashram. No need to make any external arrangements. But subject yourself to the flow of nectar coming out from the mouth of any pure Vaishnava. Mm -hmm. And the second meaning? And the second meaning? means, one meaning is stay where you are, meaning stay in your Ashram. And the other meaning is, that place where there is a sadhu speaking the sweet pastimes of Krishna, sweet Harikatamrita, then stay in that place and never leave that place. Always hear constantly the Harikata from the lips of a pure Vaishnava. Then? What doing? What doing? Doing what there? Stane Stita Sruti Gatan Tano Van Mano And not only hearing for enjoyment, but actually tanum van manobia, completely surrendering one's body, mind and words to that sadhu. Then the Harikata will no. enter into the heart. Again, again. Doing pranam to that place. Doing pranam to who is telling Harikatha. Doing pranam to Srimad Bhagavatam, what is written. And doing pranam to who has managed Arrange. Arrange everything. Those who have managed, oh, a Vaishnava should come and tell Bhagavad. And he has invited all Vaishnavas. They have made an arrangement of prasadam. Anybody is making arrangement of mats and satranji. One is, one is, one is, anybody is brahming. So all, bring pranam to all, by whole body. And mind, oh, how I am lucky that I am hearing Harikatha. To do pranam also by heart and by mind also. And giving respect to all. 
especially those who is speaking Harikatha. Like whom? Like Baldev Prabhu. Like Guru. Like Parikshit Maharaj have so much fame, so much honor, and so much trust in Parikshit Sukhde Goswami. So like Parikshit. So if is anyone doing like this, Thang is the God, Tarmang, Manobhi, Parayashu, Ajito Abhi, Jita, Who? So then, the question may come in the mind, if I give up the proper knowledge and all of these things, how will I control my mind? How will it be? So one should not fear about this. Brahmaji is saying, Yei Prayasa Jita Jito, Tai Piyasi, Tai Stulo Kyam, that the Many sages and yogis, they endeavor so hard to control their mind and senses. But for one who hears the sweet Harikata, what to, to be... Control Krishna. So oh. mind is very significant. They don't want to control mind. They want to control Krishna. The Krishna is never controlled by anyone. The moon, those who are hearing Harikata, I like this. Krishna is very soon controlled. And gradually, Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti, and Prima Bhakti. And thus, it lies, becomes successful. Success. Then, what? So, the, simply by hearing the Harikata, what you speak of controlling like very easily, Krishna don't, becomes under control. Don't have so much faith on reading. Everything is locked. <laughs> oh, I will read myself and I will be Paramahans. <laughs> you cannot understand a word even. So he, the Vaishnava is born of fire, Guru is born of fire. And he knows all these things. Then I can open Srimad Bhagavad law and Hiki. And then you can know and realize something. Otherwise, by your mind, by your intelligence, by your reading, by grammar and so on, Anuswar, Vishwarga, oh, and you will fall down. So we should hear from Krishna. Then. So, by hearing the Hare Krishna, then Krishna, he becomes... What became? What become? Krishna will come by hearing in the shape of words, Hare Krishna, in heart. And then he will clear all kinds of doubts, all kinds of anartha, offenses and everything, and his heart will be so pure and very smooth. And the, Krishna will make him realize that everything is Bhakti Vipra. This is the process. Tashmi Mahan Mukharita So you should try to hear from qualified person. And if there is lacking of that thing, then you can read. But it will be better that when again Vaishnava will come, you should hear. I think you have read Srimad Bhagavatam so many times. But as we are explaining, we have never heard anything like that. <laughs> never. <laughs> less and less, but you will let you will let people decide to know all these things. We have heard from our Guru So many Vaishnavas. With Vishwana Chakrati Chatur Bhakti no Thakur, Jiva Swami. And then we have something very little. As a stone on the bank of eh? oh, endless ocean. Now it is so seven and so we will explain some other slope tomorrow, or other story. Go Try to know. See eh? and to take it in our heart. When you should go from here, you should try to remember all this. What Maharaj has told, what Gurudev has told, what Vaishnava has told. 
and then uh, remember in your memory, if you sort of sleep down, and in sleep you will see that all the thoughts got from. And if you are not going, then you are going from here and coming everything, we are giving here everything and uh, remembering worldly things and you will then know no food. Gold Praman. Very special dash. From tomorrow we will begin to move from here. Oh, this year all the days were so much so much good. So much pure days. And we are so much lucky to hear so many Haritatha. More than Paikun. So, from tomorrow, quickly, gradually, they will leave this place and they will go to other countries. Singapore. From Singapore to Bali, Australia. So, I invite you all. Uh, what about tomorrow? Tomorrow evening. There is a program still. Evening at what time? Uh, normal time. As time? Last, last now. Starting at 5 o'clock. I think that Govinda Bhagat and Prem Prayajan should go. And manage for that. Now, Where? Tomorrow is a program here. All the persons who are coming from India, that group who is blind, they have been invited. To meet you come here. and do no. performance. They will not to go outside. Here? They will yes. come here. Oh, then here we can. Yes. Like very close. Then we can. Nothing to go anywhere to run. Oh, very good. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Jaya